night, Incineopolis finds a high-speed pursuit chased by police officers after a suspect. We catching up, we catching up. Yeah, he's heading for that uh, construction site. We got him now. So. What the hell is that? What's this? Suddenly, a strange-looking motorcycle cuts in between the squad car and the fugitive vehicle. Oh, hell, that's that Night Fury chick. Who? Hey, some crazy broad who dresses up like Night Night. Why in the hell would anyone want to do that? <laughs> who can explain women? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Suddenly, Night Fury's motorcycle fires off two small missiles. Holy shit, what the hell? Oh, oh man, she blew up the car. And as the officers arrive on the scene of the flaming ruin that was the suspect's vehicle, they see off to the side, Night Fury beating the crap out of the driver. Well, he's all yours, officers. By the way, what did he do? He, uh, he ran a red light. That's why we were pulling him over and why he was turning into this construction site where we could uh, talk uh, to him. Oh. And the next morning at the office of Police Commissioner Charles Wetman. God damn it. Bad enough we gotta put up with Night Night's interference. I'll be damned if we're gonna have to put up with his groupie as well. But, sir, what can we do? Like all mass vigilantes, she wears a mask. How can we find her when we don't know who she is? Maybe we can't, Chief O'Reilly. But I know one man who probably can. You mean? That's right, Chief O'Reilly. And at this, Commissioner Charles Wetman opens a drawer in his desk and pulls out a peculiar looking cell phone. A special cell phone with a crescent moon emblazoned on it. He opens it up, and it leads him to a direct, secret, untraceable line to the Knight's lair. Oh, so you're calling the Night Knight? But, yeah. I, I thought you were going to call the FBI. No, the FBI doesn't deal with people in tights. Meanwhile, within the Knight's lair, we find Lyle Richman and Dick Sprung, who are, in reality, Night Knight and Boobo. Check out these new tights, Bubo. They're water-resistant and yet breathable. And, at certain distances, can even deflect some bullets. Huh. Yeah, but you know what you need to do? No, what? You need to put a filter in the night-night panties so that when you fart, it smells like roses. <laughs> Damn it, Bubo. First of all, they're not panties. And second of all, farting is hardly a lethal threat. Huh. Could have fooled me. Some of those times we're on stake out of the night cruiser and you let one rip? Oh man, that's pretty close to lethal for me. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. What is it, Smedley? Commissioner Wet was on that phone. Wants to talk to you. Oh boy. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Wet one. Hey, night night. So you finally seen the light. And realize the error of your ways <laughs> in denying the city its greatest champion against the crappy, creepy world of crime. Oh, God damn it! I'm about to hang up on him. You don't shut up! The only reason I call for your help, Night Night, is to deal with the problems that you created. And in this case, you got a goddamn copycat psycho running around interfering with police business, and I'm gonna need you to bring her in. Delude yourself any way you want, Whitman. But it's clear to me that you desperately need my expertise in this particular case. And although I understand, due to your delusion, that you must vent because of your rage that is actually angry at yourself for your incompetency. However, there's only so much the Night Knight can take, for the Night Knight is no man's whipping boy. Yeah, but you let the pink elephant spank you that time. <laughs> Shut up, Boobo! I said no man. Yeah, but, uh, uh, oh yeah. You guys coming or not? Yeah, we'll be right over. Get your ass in the night cruiser. No, oh, boy! And soon at Commissioner Wetwin's office. It is often said that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. However, I cannot allow this amateurish bungling to possibly tarnish the Night Night name. Eh, don't worry about that, Night Night. Nobody could possibly tarnish the Night Night name more than Night Night. <laughs> 
In order to conduct my investigation, of course, I'll need access to whatever physical evidence you may have, Commissioner. Well, the vehicle was pretty well burnt up. However, we do have the victim's clothing in the evidence room. Uh, Chief O'Reilly, why don't you show him down at the evidence room? And in the police department's evidence room... Oh, kitty, what are we looking for in these old bloody clothes, night-night? A clue, you idiot. According to the description of the crime, this Night Fury woman fired off rockets from her motorcycle. Now, the size of those rockets must be unusually small, and yet able to destroy an entire vehicle. So this would take a specialized chemical compound in order to achieve this. Something that could be traceable all the way back to Night Fury herself. We need only find samples of said chemical in order to do this. Well, how the hell is bloody beer pants gonna do that? It's possible, you moron, that residue from the explosive chemicals splashed on the pants themselves. Huh, I don't see any chemicals on it. All right. Oh, <coughs> oh man, these pants stink. Oh, oh, oh God. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's because the driver shit himself when Night Fury kicks him in the gut. <coughs> you could have told us, oh, really. Yeah, I could have. <coughs> Pooh-wee, you <coughs> need to open the window. <coughs> Boy, I bet you wish you had them filtered panties now. <coughs> what girl would that do? I didn't poop my pants, you idiot. <coughs> well, uh, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. This stain. I ain't gonna go nowhere near no stains on them pants. No, stupid. This stain shows the telltale signs of chemical residue. I must secure a fibrous sample, take it back to the lab of the Night's Lair, and test it for the elements within. The Night Cruiser, Bobo! Oh, boy! And back at the Night's Lair, hmm, according to the Night Night Computer Analysis, the explosive chemicals were a combination of three different sources all of which were individually ordered and sent to a YW at apartment 69 at the Lavender Lounge Apartments. Ah, damn! She didn't use her full name, Night-Night! Now we'll never know who she is. <laughs> Dumbass! We'll just go over there and see who lives there! Uh, uh, oh. And soon, at the apartment complex known as Lavender Lounge... Night Night and Bubo hang from their night night cables outside the window of apartment 69. Oh, oh get a Charlie horse. Can't maintain this position from crouching against the wall and holding my grip on the cable. Plus, I'm having difficulty breathing. <laughs> I ain't having no trouble breathing. Of course, I don't have a big fat gut in my way. <laughs> Shut up, you asshole. Oh, wait, I hear something. Huh? I don't see not what? Oh! Oh no! Uh, the wall's moving! Uh, it must be haunted in there something! Quiet, Bubu! You'll learn her. It's obviously a false wall, and coming out of it is there! Night Fury! Oh man! There she is! But she's still wearing her mask! Ah, we still don't know who she is. Maybe we should have looked into the records that shows who lives here. Don't be ridiculous! It, um, hmm. Hey, she's uh, taking her cape off! What? Oh yeah, she. Whoa. That's not all she's taking off. Whoa, mama! Boy, her butt's giving me a funny feeling. Quick, get the camera. Oh, night, night, naughty, naughty. No, oh, you idiot, she's taking off her mask. Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh. I don't know who the hell that is. Me neither, but there's something familiar about her. Yeah, well, that's probably because she kind of looks like that chick that's in that picture on Commissioner Wetwin's desk, you know, right next to the picture of his wife. Holy crap. But of course, that's Yvonne Wetwin. Who? Commissioner Wetwin's daughter. Meanwhile, in the office of Commissioner Charles Wetwin. So, with this latest jewelry store being robbed, I'm afraid the pattern is undeniable, so... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you, Detective Bollocks. It's gotta be the minx. I've been dreading the moment she'd eventually return, but I guess I always knew she would. Maybe this is a cry for help. Who knows? But just because she was once a good friend of this department and a respected district attorney, Felicity Style, a.k.a. the Minx, will be treated like any other suspect. So put out the word and bring her in. And you can count on Night Night to do just that, my buddy. And Boo Boo, too! Shut up, Boo Boo! <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Commissioner. Don't tell me we gotta work with these guys. No, 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 Sergeant Bollocks. You're a point man on this job. Now get out there and do it. I'll, uh, I'll deal with Night-Night here. Oh, 
You'll deal with Night Night, will you? I grow so weary of your absolute disrespect for my superior detective abilities that should be utilized in this manhunt, or perhaps womanhunt, I should say, for the mistress of crime, the minx. I already gave you a job, Night Night. Now get out there and do it. I, I didn't do it, butthole. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I don't see Night Fury anywhere. Doesn't look like you did your job to me. I assure you, Whitman, I did do my job. But there was an unexpected development. You mean you screwed up and lost uh -huh. her? In fact, we know where she is right now. Well, hell, tell me where she is. I'll send a squad car to pick her up. Okay. But what would you, you know, hit her with the lavender Shut up, Bulo, you idiot. I'll handle this. Well, Damn it. Uh... So, yes, we did, indeed, locate Night Fury, and we know who she really is underneath that mask. But, wet one, you had perhaps embrace yourself for the truth. What? Perhaps you'd better see this for yourself, wet one. Here is photographic evidence of the true identity of Night Fury. Uh... All I can see here is some naked woman's butt. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 not, not those, not those. Not, just, just, never mind that one. Uh, uh, here, here, this one, this one. Well, let's see here. What, what the hell? Yvonne? What the hell is this, Night Night? What do you mean? What did you, what, is this some sort of joke? What? Most certainly not. God damn it. After all I've been through with you, and then here I go and I give you an actual case, and what do you do? You try to disgrace my own daughter? How dare you attack my integrity? That is your daughter, Weapon. Whether you can face it or not, just demonstrates how less of a man you are. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm gonna kick your ass! You and what army? Commissioner, we just got worried. The minx has been spotted just outside down the Loon Jewelry. She got in a fight with Night Fury and both of them disappeared somewhere in the vicinity of the old abandoned warehouse district. <sighs> Alright, alright. Double the patrols out there in the warehouse district. I'll be taking this over personally. Okay, sir. And I don't want to see you when I get back, Night Night. Whoa, Commissioner sure is pissed off, Night Night. I mean, more than usual. Yeah, well, he'll get over it once he realizes the truth that Night Fury is indeed his daughter. And then I'm going to expect an apology from him. In fact, I'm going to demand it. Well, I don't think you're going to get an apology. Hey, I think you'll be even more pissed off. What do you mean? Well, once he realizes that that really is Yvonne Wetland in those pictures, he's going to know you took naked pictures of his daughter. <laughs> damn it, Shut up! Shut up, damn it! To the night cruiser! Oh, boy! And soon on the streets of Hideopolis can be seen the amazing night cruiser. Well, what are we doing? We need to find the Minx's secret hideout in Bubba. How are we gonna do that? Well, due to the files I swiped from Wetland's computer. No! It appears a series of robberies at local jewelry stores are attributed to the Minx. And that this is not the first time Night Fury has engaged this mistress of crime. Huh! Small world, huh? Indeed, Bubba. So. It appears that Night Fury has already been investigating the Minx and may already have quite the clue as to her location. So, combined with her investigation and Commissioner Wetland's files, we should be able to finally ensnare the Minx. Yeah, and it's a good thing we already know where Night Fury lives. That's right, Bobo. And soon, back at the apartment of Yvonne Wet One, who we now know is in reality Night Fury. Great breaking and entering, Night Night. Should we be picking the lock to her door like this? It's official Night Night business, Bobo. Remember, in order to pursue our war on crime, we must, at times, operate above the law. Huh, <sighs> right again, Night Night. Of course. <laughs> Looks like she's not home. Now what do we do? Mm, she's probably still fighting the Minx as we speak. And as an amateur, she'll mess it all up. We can't leave it up to her, Bobo. We've got to find them. Well, that armor here. Guess you're wasting time. You might as well leave. No, Bobo. Remember, 
that false wall that we saw through the window? Yeah, what about it? It's obviously the door to her secret headquarters for her night fury endeavors. Let's see if we can get it open. <coughs> yeah, there must be a button or something that makes it open up. Yes, but we don't have the time. Get out of the way. Oh, no! Hey, I blew a hole in the wall. What a mess. Well, I'm sure she can fix it. Now, let's see here. Ah, there. Her Night Fury computer. And look, it's still on. And the files on the Minx are right there. This is what we've been looking for, Willow. Well. Huh, yeah, boy, she got a lot of files on the Minx. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of images of her. Huh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> she got naked pictures, too. What do you mean? Look! That's naked pictures of the Minx. Some of them look like they were deliberately digitally altered to look nude. That's strange. Oh, man, look over there. What? It's a life-size portrait of the Minx. Hmm. Boy, she... She really deep in on this one. Ah, here we are. Possible locations of the Minx's secret headquarters. Yes, they are indeed located... No, wait. It's a secret tunnel within one of the old abandoned warehouses that actually doubles back several blocks away to an old abandoned apartment complex. That's undoubtedly... Where we'll find the Minx. Dude, Night Cruiser! No, you don't get to say that. I say it. Do the Night Cruiser! I'm already on the way! Damn it, Uo! Wait up! And soon our masked marvels arrive at an old abandoned apartment complex and after searching several rooms, eventually find the secret headquarters of the Minx. Yeah, there's definitely someone in that room. I can hear noises and voices. You're right, Bobo. I guess we'll just kick you in the door and attack. No, Bobo. No idea what we're walking in on there. Got to get a better vantage point. We'll use our night cables. And go outside and take a peek through a window. And soon, outside the building, suspended by their night cables, Night Night and Boobo are able to peer into a window to the secret room of the Minx. Whoa! The Minx has got Night Fury all tied up, and she's spanking her ass! Yeah, she sure is. Uh, well, I guess we ought to rush in and rescue her. Wait a minute, Boobo. Who's a bad girl? Let's not be so hasty here. Uh, uh, we need to uh, assess the situation. Well, it looks pretty simple to me. Uh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, damn, oh, damn it! Damn it! Oh, the night phone. Oh, I have to turn it off. Oh, stupid Smedley calling now. Damn it! Oh, no, no, no! The means to see this. She's pulling a gun out. Oh, shit! Suddenly, due to extreme panic, Night Night and Boobo inadvertently smash through the glass window, sending the shards flying into the face of the Minx. As she ducks for cover, she is suddenly attacked from behind by none other than Night Fury. Oh, oh, you bitch! I'm on top now, whore. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you like that, don't you? Well... Uh, uh, well done, Night Fury. It appears we worked out as quite the team. <laughs> yeah, we saved you. Oh, uh, yeah, um, thanks. Nobody move, please! <gasps> Dad? Dad? No, it can't be. No, uh, Commissioner, it, it's it's not what you think. I, I just, oh, damn it, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Yvonne, what the hell? Why would you dress up like... Night night! I mean, <laughs> night night! Hey, what the hell? Because, Dad, whenever you weren't running around on Mom, all you ever did was bitch about night night, night night, night night. Well, <laughs> I showed you! <laughs> that don't make any sense at all. <laughs> Yvonne, honey, come on. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I never cheated on your mother. I, I love her and you. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. I know about Sergeant Essence and that bitch D8 Styles. I mean, Come on, Dad! Hey, who are you calling bitch, bitch? What? Shut up, Felicity. This doesn't concern you. Felicity? What? Wait a minute. Are you, are you saying the Minx is really Felicity Styles? Well, yeah, that's old news. Everybody knows that. She's the Minx. The Minx. Oh, all this time I've been crushing and falling in love with my father's ex-mistress. What? No! 
No, wait, wait. wait Holy wait, wait, shit. What? I didn't know she was your daughter. But she's a woman. You, mean, you it, 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 This is all too much, damn it. Well, Whitman, I'm afraid you're going to have to admit that we did indeed solve this case. And so I await your apology. What? What? God, how could this get any worse? Then don't worry, Commissioner. We won't let anyone know about those naked pictures of Night Fury's butt. Wait, what? Thus ends another amazing Night Night adventure. WBLZ Radio with Balls. Well, you're listening to Buzz Bailey. This is the Buzz Bailey Show, and we're taking your calls on anything you want to talk about. So keep those calls coming in, whether it's about the new tax proposals in the warehouse district or, or the latest hot news that the Mosquito, the supervillain Mosquito, has just escaped again. So that's some hot news, huh? So come on and call in. Uh, let's take a look here. The phone board is lighting up. So we'll take our first call. Let's see here. We got Joe. Joe, you're on the Buzz Bailey Show. What's going on, Joe? Hey, Joe, welcome to the Buzz Bailey Show. What's on your mind? Uh, am I on the air? Yes, Joe, go ahead. Uh, hello? Can you hear me, Joe? Uh, this is Buzz Bailey. You're on the air. Uh, is this WBLZ? Yes, Joe. Hello? All right, that's too bad, Joe. I'll try again later. Uh, let's go to our next call. Let's see. Bob, Bob, you're on the Buzz Bailey Show. Uh, yeah. I was wondering if you got any more of those tickets to give away for that uh, spasm concert. Uh... uh, no, Bob, we don't. Thanks for calling. Uh, yeah, but I uh. And we'll go to our next call here. Uh, John, John, you're on the Buzz Bailey show. Hey, sir, these new taxes proposing are all the warehouse district. Uh, I was, I don't think that's putting our where it needs to be. Going. I mean, what a waste of money. I don't understand. Oh, that's too bad. Sounds like we got quite the bad connection there. Sorry about that, John. If uh, Maybe if you try to call back later, we'll get, try to uh, get you on, all right? Uh, sorry about that, yes. All right, let's go to our next call here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Tammy, Tammy, you're on the Buzz Bailey Show. What's up, Tammy? Oh, what's up, Tammy? You got to turn your radio down, Tammy. You got to turn your radio down, Tammy. Turn the radio down, Tammy, so you can hear us. Turn the radio down, Tammy, so you can hear us. Okay, we're going to have to move on from there. Uh, let's see, we've got... Oh, it's Joe. Joe called back. All right, Joe. Welcome back. Sorry about it earlier, but uh, welcome to the Buzz Bailey Show, Joe. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, look, uh, well, what I was calling and trying to talk about was... Uh... Oh, no, no! Joe? Joe? Oh, man. Well, it sounds like there was some trouble there. Well, we'll take a short break, and we'll be back with more Buzz Bailey Show here on WBLZ Radio with Balls. WBLZ Radio with Balls. 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 Meanwhile, out on the streets of Cityopolis, Night Night has inadvertently smashed his night cruiser into the vehicle of a fellow motorist. Oh, damn it, not again. <laughs> Stupid Cityopolis traffic. Ugh. Uh, Boobo, this is all your fault. My fault? It was your fault. What? How do you figure that? Hey, you weren't paying attention to the road because you were reaching over trying to steal my onion rings. Well, that wouldn't have happened if you'd been a decent gentleman and shared your onion rings rather than making me having to reach for it. You should have shown me the proper respect. Uh-oh, the other driver's coming. What? Oh, man, his nose no, is all bloody. Boy, he looks pretty mad, no. night-night. Ah, just ignore him, boo He'll go away. I don't know. I don't think so. Damn it, night-night. You come on out of that car right now. Come on, night-night. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, this idiot isn't going to leave. All right, wait here. I'm going to have to go outside and deal with this. He'll soon learn the error of interfering with the business of night-nighty.
What the hell is your problem, butthole? What? What's my problem? Hell, damn, you hit my car and totaled it and damn near killed me! That's my problem, you weirdo! Listen, pal. I couldn't help but use my detective skills to notice that cell phone in your hands, which just proves that you were not paying attention to the road while driving, and so I must conclude that this accident was your fault. But I was parked on the side of the road! I know, uh, well, uh, hmm. Yeah, so much for your holier-now attitude! And I mean, come on, where's the justice in this? Look at your car, it ain't even got a scratch on it! Uh, exactly. So there's no evidence whatsoever that I'm at fault in this, by any means, beyond what you can prove. So I think that's the end of this discussion. God damn it, I wanna kick your ass, Walt! Oh, come on, you're a bitch! You go, Give me the name of that ass! Oh god, oh shit, damn that nigga! You don't know that was too tough! Oh, 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 you don't know that was too tough! There, that solved that little dispute. He'll think twice before taking on the night night. Oh, night night, uh, he looks pretty bad. Looks like he's having some kind of reaction. No, but what a ridiculous. In a few seconds, he'll be sleeping like a baby. Um, well, uh, oh, man, what's that on his face? Told you, he's breaking out knives. Oh, boy. Oh, quick, get the book, get the book, get the book. Oh, uh, where is it? Here, get the medical kit. Oh, just... Here it is. Oh, what do we do in a case of a uh, bad reaction? Ah, uh, uh, oh boy, I'm not, I, I, I can't find, I'm not seeing anything in here. Uh, hey, look, Bobo, uh, no one's around, no one saw, so uh, let's just get out of here and hope it solves itself. What? Come, get in the car, Bobo! Get in the car, Bobo! Alright, let's go! Boots. Yeah, I'm gonna have nightmares from that. No, oh, Boobo, come on. Quit being such a pussy. Just just put it out of your mind and forget about it. Now, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted by that nonsense? We were on the trail of the mosquito. Yes, of course. The bug man of crime. <laughs> well, we're really off track now, Boobo. Thanks to that bullshit. Oh boy. Well, we'd better head over to the commissioner's office. And later at the commissioner's office. What? Oh, no. Damn it, Night Night. I don't have time for you. I've got a meeting with the mayor in a few minutes. Don't try to bullshit me this time, Commissioner. Not when there's a crisis going on. Crisis? What do you mean? What are you talking about? <sighs> the mosquito. Oh, yeah, the mosquito, yeah. He escaped. Yeah, that's a big crisis there, Night Night. Why can't you understand this? He is one of the most sinister members of my rogues gallery. Rogues gallery? What the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see what's so funny, Chief O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, yeah, but what do you mean, rogues gallery? Well... In my secret headquarters, known as the Knight's Lair, I keep computer files and all the vile villains that I encounter. And I refer to it as my rogues gallery. It contains the fooler, the pink elephant, and of course, yes, the mosquito. Yeah, but you know what? All them freaks and weirdos didn't start showing up until you started showing up running around in your crime crusade. I mean, they all run around in these stupid outfits in their underwear like you do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chief. <laughs> trying to make a point here. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. <laughs> Shut up, Pluto. Yeah, but the point here is, Night Night, uh, you're more or less the uh, the core of all these problems, of all these idiots who think they can just wear outfits and do crazy things. I mean... Uh, you got it in your head you're a superhero like Sun King, but Sun King can lift an aircraft carrier over his head. All you ever do is ride around in a fancy car while wearing pantyhose. 
<laughs> so you just need to find another hobby that doesn't involve billions in property damage and uh, attracting uh, costume psychos obsessed with you, all right? Yeah, you need to get on that. No, no! This is all a dastardly deed doing lie! You're all delusional. You're all in denial. You have no idea the sacrifices I've made while protecting this city. <laughs> Boy, am I sick of that crap. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I mean, you obviously need psychiatric help. <laughs> yeah, they, they. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I, I can't explain myself. It's just sometimes I get lost in the moment and my passion for justice takes over and I, I, I just don't know. I, yeah, I don't care. Just get out of here. Go on. Get. And soon, outside on the streets of Cityopolis, just outside City Hall at the Night Cruiser. Boy, night, night. Commissioner sure raked you over the coals. Ah, boobo, no thanks to you. But in the end, the night knight gets the upper hand. What? What do you mean? Well, no one was looking, too, because you were all too busy, distracted with your laughter. No one noticed that I placed a night bug on the commissioner's desk. Thus, I'll be able to listen in on his task force plans for the mosquito. Night bug? Uh-oh. Is that what this is? What? What are you doing with that, boobo? Well, I, I thought you accidentally left it behind, so I picked it up for you. Damn, damn it, Bubo! Now, now we got nothing. I, I don't want to go back in there after all that. That's, damn it. Let's just go home. And now, it's time for City City News! Starring your anchors, Peter Hungmule and Trixie Turner. Buddy with sports, and Sparky with the weather. And now, here's Peter. Good evening, I'm Peter Hungmule. Today's top story, costume criminal, the Mosquito, is still at large after his daring escape from Statesville Penitentiary last night. City City Police Department claim to have every man on the job, but have yet to give any other comment on the case as of late. City City News suspects incompetence. Trixie? Peter, it seems the Mosquito's not the only costume menace out there now. Once again, everyone's favorite, Night Night, has attacked another one of our citizens. It seems Joe Best, who was in his car parked on the side of the road while calling into the Buzz Bailey show this morning, was suddenly and ruthlessly attacked by Night Night's car, the Night Cruiser. But the attack didn't end there. Night Night then proceeded to attack him physically and even sprayed him with toxic chemicals, which he had a horrible reaction to, which caused him to later be hospitalized. Our man in the field, Rod Manass, has more on the story. Rod? Trixie, I'm here at Memorable Hospital, where earlier I conducted an interview with the latest night-night victim, Joe Best. Oh, that goddamn night-night! That motherfucker totaled my car! Then he sprayed me with some kind of chemical shit! Oh, God! It made me so sick! I puked my guts out over and over! Oh, it was horrible! I thought I was gonna die! I thought it was over! That God Damn night f <sighs> Just now, I'm standing here with Dr. Wankrag, who is in charge of Mr. Best's care. Doctor, will Joe Best make a full recovery? Uh, yes, I do believe he will, Rod. As we've encountered many of similar victims of Night Night in the past, and we have been able to isolate the core chemical used in his Night Night gases, uh, so that we've been able to, uh, counteract it with proper drugs that, uh, can help, uh, Mr. Best in his recovery. Yes. But yes, uh, a serious condition to be sure... But it's not something to be too worried about. I mean, after all, the symptoms don't include your balls turning black and falling off. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Rod Manass for City City News. Back to you, Trixie. Oh, uh, uh, thanks, Rod. In other news, the wealthiest members of Cityopolis are complaining that they've been ripped off. 
by a jewelry establishment known as Purplehead Jewelry. They purchased several items, necklaces and rings and bracelets, only to discover that the jewels were nothing more than fake. But when police investigated Purplehead Jewelry, they found the place boarded up and completely vacated. The supposed owner's credentials turned out to be as fake as his jewelry. Looks like he got clean away with robbery there, Peter. Yes, Trixie, yes, it sure does. But in commentary tonight, with the widening gap between the rich and the poor, is it possible that these particular rich people got what they deserved? Up next, could your house be a death trap? Stay tuned to find out. Hmm, I'm beginning to see why Sun King and other superheroes get jobs in the media business. What do you mean? Well, that little story there about the purple head jewelry. What about it? I think Night Night and Boo Boo ought to look into it. Oh boy! And later, outside the building that was once purple head jewelry. All right, Boo Boo. Looks like there's no one around, so we're gonna head over there and break into that purple headed jewelry place and find out what the hell's going on. Nay, hey, nay. Hey. It's just an old man in building. There's nothing going on in there. We're not going to find anything. No, Boobo. There's clues to be had if one knows where to look for them. Clues under every rock. Clues on every strip of toilet paper. Ooh. Well, I guess there wouldn't be any evidence there if they hadn't touched it. Well, they might have touched it if they got some on their finger and then they went and grabbed the toilet paper yeah, and no, then, uh... No. Boobo! Damn it! I don't want to talk about shit and buttholes and toilet paper. Yeah, you're the one who brought it up. No, I didn't. I mean, I did, but I—that's not—that's not the direction I was going in. I was merely going through things in my mind about clues and how to find them and important steps one can take and just it. D just shut up, Boobo! You're always messing up my thinking process, you idiot. Wait, look. There's someone coming out of the building. That's obviously our suspect, Boobo. To think, you almost ruined the whole investigation before it began by distracting me with your idiocy. Uh oh, he's seen us. Uh oh, he's getting away. Yes, Boobo, I can see that. Why are you just sitting there doing nothing? I'm starting the car, you idiot! Damn it, don't you bark orders at me, you little bastard! Oh, God, I can't stand this crap. Uh-oh, there's a poodle in the road. What? Ah, uh, too late. Oh, no. Oh, man, you hit that poor little dog. A fitting end for his kind, Bubo. What? what? What do you mean? He should have known better. He's a city dog. He knows traffic. He should have been prepared, but he wasn't. Let that be a lesson to you, Bubo. Golly, God, it's cruel. Well, uh, damn it, what did I tell you about distracting me with meaningless bullshit? Shut your trap, Bubo. Oh, night night. That guy's pulling ahead. If he gets lost in the crowd, we'll never find him. Don't worry, Bobo. I'm about to bring this chase to an end right now. What happened this morning inspired me. What do you mean? I'm gonna ram him. All right, Bobo. Let's go see who this asshole is. Okay, pal. You're now in the grip. Of Night Night. Oh, what? Oh my god. Night Night. That's right. Now you'd better fess up and let us in on the story about what your connection is to Purple Head Jewelry. Oh, jewelry? Well, if that's what your fancy is, why don't you take a gander at this pretty jewel? What? Suddenly, the strange man reveals a purple glowing jewel on his wrist that captivates our heroes! Feeling a little woozy there, Night Night. How about you, Boo Boo? Oh, Boo Boo, something's happening. I can't tell my head from my ass. Huh, I can't even find my ass. Damn it, Boo Boo. It's just like you to go and lose your ass. What am I gonna kick now? Well, at least something good came out of this. Oh, losing balance. Can't tell the sky from the ground. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome to the grip of Mr. Mirage, boys. <laughs> oh no! Has the mysterious Mr. Mirage defeated our heroes? Find out in the next exciting episode!
What? What's going on? Where? Where am I? What the hell happened? Good lord. Uh, Bubo. Bubo! Wake your ass up, Bubo! What? What? Huh? Where are we? What's going on? I'm afraid we were captured, Bubo. And from the looks of things around here, and this stacks of booze, and that music from upstairs, I'd say we're in the basement of some sort of bar. Huh. All I remember is that guy with the jewel that was glowing, and, and now we're here. Yeah, well, we're going to get to the bottom of that. But first, we got to get out of here. Come on, let's go up to that door. There we go. It's locked. Of course. I guess I hadn't thought of everything. Or did I? I don't know, did you? <laughs> yes, Bubo. This is so happens. I have some C4 secreted in the heel of my boot. And I learned that from watching the news about terrorism. All right, it's set up to go. Quick, take cover. Gonna blow the door off. Oh my god, like what's that? Oh, no. Yeah? Oh, relax, relax. Everyone calm down. Please, please calm down, ladies and gen- I, Well, I mean, gentlemen, uh, everything's fine. Just go about your business. Yeah, yeah. Nobody pay no mind to that because it's, it's official night-night business. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's night-night and boobo. <laughs> well, this was bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> And just who are you? Well, I'm the manager of this establishment. Oh, well, we're here looking for a man. <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone's here looking for a man, honey. <laughs> what? But what, what do you mean? Uh, I, I, there's no girls here. I, I think this is a gay bar. What? Oh my god, Bobo. You may be right. Come on, night night. Why don't you get on the dance floor and shake some nighty night booty? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh god, let's get the hell out of here, Bubo. Never mind us, citizens, nothing to see here. Let's go. And soon outside on the street. Oh, damn it. Of course, the night cruiser is nowhere to be found. Hey, they must have stolen that too! Yes, and without our belts, we don't have any phones. We're gonna have to go back in there and use theirs. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Uh, I need to use your phone. What? Huh? Oh, all right. All right, here you go, honey. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hello? Medley, this is Night Night. What you want? I need you to send the night bike over by remote control. Someone has stolen the night cruiser. Well, yeah, I was kind of wondering about that because I was noticing you had on the night computer tracking system that the night cruiser was going all over the place in all these gay establishments. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that right now, Rob, Miss Madley. Just send that night bike to me, pronto. Yeah, all right. Oh, wait a minute. I can't track you. Where you at? No, oh, well, hang on a minute. Let's see. Well, what's the address here? Uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, what? What is this place? What? Oh, this is the manhole, honey. Oh, God. Um, we're at a place called the manhole. What? Never mind, just... It's a long story, I'll tell you later, maybe. Probably not. No, just send the night bike over, quick. Yeah, alright, I'll get right on it. Good. Alright, Bubo, let's go outside and wait for it. And soon, pedestrians on the streets of Cineopolis are amazed at the sight of a riderless motorcycle as the night bike wheels its way through the maze of streets of Cineopolis on its way to Night Night and Bubo. Ah, uh, there it is. Unfortunately, we don't have our helmets with us, Bubo. But this, of course, is an emergency situation. Let's get on and get out. And Bubo, you're riding bitch. Well, what are we doing, Night Night? Are we just gonna go home? No, Bobo. We're going to recover the Night Cruiser. Fortunately, the Night Cruiser does have a tracking device on it. And thanks to the Night Computer installed on this very Night Bike, we'll be able to track it to its current location and bring justice to that bastard who stole our stuff and had the audacity to dump us 
in the basement of that haven of sodomites. Meanwhile, across town at an unassuming jump shop, oh man, what am I supposed to do with the night night car? Oh, take it from me, brown sugar. This is one of a kind. Oh, it's an easy steal. So why don't you be a good little sweetie pie and hand me over some green? <laughs> no, I ain't got no use with this. Oh, really? Well, maybe this will change your mind. And suddenly, Mr. Mirage reveals the glowing purple jewel on his wrist to the captivated eyes of the chop shop man. Uh, uh, you know, uh, on second thought, I can use that night guard. I can convert it into a bug mobile. A mosquito. Yeah. Now that's using your American ingenuity, sunshine. <laughs> and at that moment, the night bike arrives. There it is, Bobo. That's obviously our target. Okay, ram it. No, no, Bobo. We can't ram it with a bike. Yeah, you can. No, no, let go. No, no, Bobo. No. Yeah, give it. No, 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 no. Hey, what the hell was that noise? That old dude. Better go take a look. I'll come along too. Oh my. It's the masked marbles night night and boo bow. Oh, 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 stupid boobo. Trying to smash through a wall on a motorbike. Wait, look. There he is. The man who violated us. Oh, yeah. Just look into the glowing jewel, boys. Don't look, Boo Boo. That was our first mistake. Huh? Too late. Oh, oh, oh. oh stupid Boo Boo. But wait a minute. There's something familiar about all of this. It's, it's you. You are Mr. Mirage, one of my old arch enemies. Well, long time no say, night night. But, but how could I forget about you? It's very simple. I hypnotized you to forget all about me. Looks like I'm gonna have to do it again. No, no! Suddenly, in a rare burst of heroism, Night Knight leaps forward, crushing the hypnotic jewel strapped to Mr. Mirage's wrist. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh dear! Oh, now it's limp for good. It's all over, Mr. Mirage. You finally tasted the vengeance of Night Knight. Oh, I'm not finished yet. Get him, boys! These aren't your boys. They're not gonna follow your orders. Guess again, Night Night. I hypnotized him before he got here. What? Oh, uh, listen here, gentlemen. I must warn you. I am trained in the fighting arts of jujitsu and do 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 and uh, something or other. Uh, no, wait. Uh, oh! And soon, Night Night finds himself alone in hand to hand combat with Mr. Mirage's hypnotized henchman. This gig is ace. No, 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 damn it, no, no, no. Yeah, hold him still while I put a footprint in his belly. No, no, not again. No, no, no. Don't be afraid to go below the belt, boys. <laughs> but in the end, Night Night falls to the ground, a bruised and battered ruin. Oh, <sighs> only one chance. Got to reach up to the night bike and activate the night missiles within the night cruiser. And later at the night's lair. So let me get this straight. You managed to track this Mr. Mirage fool down to that chop shop, and he turned out to be the one that was hypnotizing all these people into buying worthless shit. Uh, yes, that's exactly right, Smedley. So I guess you were able to get the money from all them people you ripped off. Uh, no, we won't be able to do that because, uh, well, Mr. Mirage was able to make good his getaway in the confusion of the explosion. Oh, man, an explosion that you caused. You blew up that old building and let him get away. Damn it, Smedley. That was a service for the citizens of Cityopolis, as it was a fitting end for that building since it was nothing more than a chop shop. Yeah, but we still haven't caught the mosquito. <laughs> Damn it, Boobo! It's not like I'm Sun King, you know. Yeah, that's the point the commissioner pointed out the other day. <laughs> Damn it, Boobo! Why you gotta bring that up? Well, cause it's true! <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up, butthole! And thus ends another amazing adventure of... Dark 
night on the streets of Cityopolis can be seen the night cruiser. What the hell's the matter with you, Bobo? Uh, I gotta go bed. I need to pull over somewhere. What? No, you should have went before we left. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think I can hold it, no. God damn it, you better. How many times do I have to tell you, Bobo? As crime fighters, we have an image and reputation to uphold. No, so no, when you pee, no, you no, piss no, like a superhero. No. Hey, uh, how come you're slowing down and coming to a stop? Come on, it's, I gotta it, get to a body. It's a red light, you moron. <laughs> Just run it! You're always running it for official night-night business! <sighs> Damn it, Boobo. Piss is not official night-night business. Well, it's about to be! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, Jake in the car that just pulled up alongside us. Oh, She's oh, just geez. smoking hot. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man, she's oh, smiling oh, at me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. She knows masterful masculinity when she sees it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's flipping you the bird, no, dumbass! No, no! <laughs> An ignorant, inexperienced moron like you, Bobo, doesn't understand the subtle signals of sexuality. She's actually signaling me what she wants to do. Oh, yeah? Look uh, she's speeding up! Well, <laughs> obviously, uh, the chase is afoot. Yes, she's uh, daring me to pursue her. It's all a part of the mating dance. Maybe well, it's because the lights turn green, dumbass. Step what? One. I no, gotta no, get no, over the All right, damn it! Mm. Holy shit! The car blew up. Oh no! Uh, I think. What? We... Oh damn it! Not on the seat, Lulu! Ah <laughs> oh, damn it! I don't have time to deal with that right now. <laughs> I've got to save that woman from a fiery death. Then who knows? I might just get some tonight after all. Oh my God, Back away from the scene, know? citizen. This oh, is official oh, night night business. Oh, 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 oh. really hot. No, 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 Got to get her out. I've only mere seconds to lose. Boy, she's heavier than she looks. Whoa. Come on, Ubo. We gotta get away from the car. He's in smoke again. Whoa. A second more, I had a bit of barbecued boo boo. Huh. Speaking of barbecue. Look at that woman's face! Huh? What do you mean? I oh, oh God! The fire is into like her face. It's chicken. <laughs> 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 And so, the woman is rushed to the hospital, where she slowly recovers, as best as can be expected. Then, ten months later, at club night... Looks like quite a crowd, Smedley. Well, that damn loud, what's you doing up here? Oh, I don't know. Every once in a while, I like to come around and see how you're running things. Not that I have any lacking in your ability. Yeah, you be up shit green without me, like you. <laughs> even though I rarely make appearances here, even I know that this is an unusually large crowd tonight. What's the celebration? Oh, that's mostly because of the wet stain on the rise. Wet stain? Yeah, you know, old Harry Wet Stain and the Wet Stain Talent Agency. He's a big time talent recruiter and Hollywood movie producer. He knows all the actresses and supervisors. Which, of course, is what makes up his entourage. Hence the crowd. Good lord. It all makes sense now. Those women are goddesses. Uh, hey, looks like there's a late arrival. Uh, she is absolutely stunning. Talk to you later, Smedley. It's time for the rich man to bust a move. Oh, man. Excuse me, miss. Allow me to welcome you to Club Night. <laughs> and, well... I should be the one welcoming you to Club Night because I happen to own the establishment. I'm Lyle Richman. Excuse me, but I am not here to see you. Well, I. Whoa, whoa, wait! What the 
kill. He's got a lot of strength in that arm. And he knocked me over. Cold to the touch. <laughs> Figures. Frigid bitch. Harry Wetstein? Yeah? Oh. Ah, uh, listen, doll. If you're looking for work, you can report to my office Monday morning. Right now, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Of course, if you want to be part of the entertainment, uh, who am I to say no? <laughs> you called me a doll, and that is right. I am a doll of death. You're dead. Me. Let go! I, I, I can't breathe! That is the idea. <laughs> Hey, 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 put the boss down, lady! Put him down right here! Damn, she's strong! Oh. What the hell? Oh, man, I, I better call the cops! This looks like a job for night night. I've got to quickly rush down the night's lair and put on my night night tights. Oh, man, the time you do that, he'll already be dead! It's a necessary burden upon the Yeah, alright, whatever, go put your damn tights on! Don't waste time telling me about it! I'm going, I'm going! Hey, right, bitch! Get your hands off Wednesday right now! Or I'm gonna open fire! I'm warning you! Alright, you had your chance! <laughs> well, must be wearing some kind of body armor! You have annoyed me for the last time. Yo! Oh, it's right there, lady. You're not just facing a common ordinary bodyguard. You're taking on the might of Night Knight. Now let Wetstain go! Fine, you can have him, as he is already dead. Here, catch. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> Holy lady, you're not getting away. Stand down, Night Knight. This does not concern you. These men are getting what they deserve. Murder in the face of Night Knight is the concern of Night Knight, and so I. Hey, don't just walk away! Come back here, you! I, oh, well, I. Oh, holy crap! Oh my god, she's some kind of robot! Indeed, having torn the clothing away from Weinstein's murderess, stands revealed a metallic form with a physique much like that of a mannequin, or a deadly doll. A robot, of course. That explains your augmented strength. No, not a robot, Night Knight, but a monster created by men like Wetstain. Yeah, whatever, lady. Tell it to the judge, because you're guilty of murder, and I intend to bring you to justice. No, Night Knight, not until I have meted out justice to the truly guilty. Now stand aside. Not a chance, lady. Then you leave me no choice. <laughs> Oh no, has Night Knight met his fate at the cold metal hands of the deadly doll? Find out in the next exciting episode of Night Knight. It is unfortunate that you interfered in my plans, Night Knight, but you leave me no Girl, choice. Girl, knock off cold. Come on, we gotta go. I can hear sirens coming. Come on, let's get in the car, girl. Uh, uh, the doll! Uh, uh, damn it. And not a clue in sight except. Wait! It seems she managed to collect her dress, wig, and rubber mask she used to disguise herself while inside the club. But! She left behind this pair of panties. That will be my clue to lead me to. the deadly doll. And later, back at the Knight's Lair... Well, how the hell are a pair of panties gonna lead you to a murder? And if she's walking around in a robot suit, why is she even wear panties in the first place? I believe it was a force of habit on her part, Smedley. Yes, she's accustomed to wearing high-class underwear. High-class? Yes, look at it closely here, Smedley. This is genuine silk. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel right about it. Notice that. through the lacy fringe. These little jewels. Those are real <laughs> pearls. <laughs> Shut up, Oh, damn it. This is you, Bring my concentration. <laughs> You ain't breaking your concentration and putting them on? <laughs> no, no! Look, here's a clue. Clue? What clue? Oh, I see a couple letters. M-H. Exactly, Bubo. These 
these are the initials of the designer Victor Muff Huff. Oh, there you yes, go. Yes, this you. Victor Muff Huff could very well be the Deadly Dolls' next victim to the Night Cruiser. Oh, boy. And soon across town at City City Plaza where we find the high-rise posh apartment of Victor Muff Huff. Uh, come on, night night. Who would want to murder me, let alone a woman? I make women look sexy with my sexy underwear. So this whole idea that I'm a potential victim of some crazy woman in a robot suit. <laughs> well, I guess I should consider the source. Huh? <laughs> Listen, Mr. Muffhuff. I believe you are being targeted by this monstrous villain called the Deadly Doll. Uh, I'm probably gonna be sorry for asking this, but what would give you that crazy idea? Evidence, Mr. Muffhuff. Evidence? What evidence? Evidence in the form of these silky, lacy panties, which were worn by the killer himself. Oh, oh let me see them here. Hmm. Okay, let me inspect this. Um... <laughs> Uh, um, okay. Yeah. Yes, these are definitely my panties. Your panties? Ew. Damn it, Boomo! Sh what? what the hell? Oh no! Take cover! It's a firebomb! Firebomb! <laughs> oh, 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 good lord! Uh, <laughs> we're surrounded by flames! <laughs> Flaming is complete! We're trapped, night night! I know, Boomo. We've survived flaming traps before. Oh no! The door! I can't get it open! I don't understand! What's going on? We're gonna die in what? here! Oh no! Oh god! What do we do? What do we do? Oh. Hey, wait! There's something in the flames! Coming through! Yes, Night Knight, it is I, the Deadly Doll. Come to get the justice that I swore to you, I would stop at nothing to gain. Oh no, it's the crazy robot lady! <laughs> Good lord, Bobo. She's come to kill Muffuff, and I've got to stop her with whatever means I can muster. Do not be a fool, Night Knight. You are no match for me. We'll see about that, lady. Take one more step, and I'll be forced to hurl my moonering at you. Yeah, me too! Oh my god, she's still coming! Do something! Oh. Well, Alright, lady. You asked for it. <laughs> oh no, he just bounced off her! Oh, we're not beating you up! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Oh, god god damn it! I can't concentrate with all this racket! Yeah, what are you Ooh. gonna do? I'll... I'll use my bare hands! Stop right there, lady! No! Oh, oh, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Hot. How can you tell? She's in a metal robot suit. No, oh, you idiot. I mean the metal of her suit is conducting the heat of the flames. She's hot to the touch. Well, yeah, dumbass. I learned that lesson the hard way when I pulled Bentley's pizza out of the oven without oven mitts. Yeah, you stupid. Shut up, boo For the last time, night, night. Get out of the way, and I will spare you and Boobo's lives. Forget it, lady. No deal. <coughs> oh. Damn it, stupid Boobo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Flames are getting closer. There's no way out. Ah, uh, uh, look, we, well, we tried. You know, we did the best we could. Uh, sorry, pal, but uh, looks like I'm gonna take her up on her offer. What? what? Well, you're gonna leave me um, to this killer? What kind uh, of stuff are you? The kind of doesn't want to burn. How, how do you know she'll live up to her side of the bargain? Uh, well. Good. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, how can I trust you, lady? It is only fair, Night Knight. You saved my life from a similar fate. Therefore, I am in your debt. Saved your life? What are you talking about? I never pulled you out of a fiery death trap. Fiery death trap? I, oh, oh my god. Dulcinea? Uh, is that you? Uh, oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Wasn't that the name of that chick you pulled out of that flaming car a few months back? You know, the one whose face looked like fried chicken? <laughs> anyway, later on they identified her as some model named Dulcie something, and it sounds like that girl. What? Oh, Lord, Bobo. For once, you may actually be right. Now I remember, you were that woman, weren't you, Doll? Yes, Night Night. I was Dulcinea, the supermodel and actress, until greedy and evil men who were jealous of my career leaving them behind, put explosives in my car, and left me a charred ruin. 
I could never be sure which one of these men put the explosives in my car, but now, seeing the guilty Weasley pee in his pants look on Victor Huffmuff's face confirms that he is indeed the guilty party. It is time for <coughs> Huffmuff to <coughs> die! Huh? What? Uh, look, I couldn't quite make all that last part out, and your voice is sounding funny. Good lord, Rubo. Can't you see? The smoke is cutting off her air supply in her suit. Yeah, it's cutting off mine, too. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Quickly, Bobo. We got to get behind her and kick her in the ass. What is that gonna do? I already broke the toe on her chin. No, you idiot. We can use her metal form as a battering ram to the door and open it. Oh, yeah. All right, get ready. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, we made it. Oh, man, made it out. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, the, the creature is the worst night of my life. Oh. <laughs> look, Nate, Nate, look. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber in her boot soles it melted and left an imprint on her butt. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Bobo, okay. I think the Dudley Doll has suffered enough for one night. She suffered? Well, what about me and my lovely apartment? Ruined! I mean, come on now! Didn't you kill Winston? What? Oh, yeah, that too. All of which would never have happened if not for your murderous rage that led to the explosives in her car. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you, uh, heard her talk about that, huh? Yeah. That's right. Uh, you know, you got no evidence, and, and, and so I, I'm gonna walk on this one, buddy. Yeah, well, I, um, um, boy, well, well, we don't really have anything here. What? Probably should have investigated oh. the explosion at the time, but that was months ago. Uh, yeah, he's he's probably going to get away with this. There's got to be something we can do. Well, I was kind of hoping he'd break down and confess to the whole thing, but, uh. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, he's not going to do that, so. That, that sucks. Oh, no, no, we can't let it in like this. No, 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 we gotta take that mask off so you can breathe. That smoke done clogged up the vents. Wait a minute. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, my name is Icy, Icy Cream, and I'm Dulcinea's BFF. I handle the hair and makeup, but... As it happens, I also have a degree in robotics, and I was able to construct her an exoskeleton to help her out after that explosion in a car. Of course, she wanted to use it to get revenge, but, well, I just had to take care of her. Of course. It all makes sense now. Huh? It, it does? Now stop fighting me, girl. I gotta get this helmet off so you can breathe. No. No, I see no. I can't let them see my face. I'd rather die. I'm sorry, girl, but I loved you too much. I, I can't let you go. <sighs> uh, I see. How can you love me when I look like this? Girl, you know I don't swing that way. Besides, you was always the sister I never had. Well, don't worry at all, lady. We already knew your face looked like fried chicken. Damn it, Pumo. Shut up. As for you, Huff Muff, I'll be watching you. Watching me what? Get a new apartment? Well, have this woman prosecuted yeah, well, for trying to yeah, kill me and um, for the murder of um, Wetstein? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, nay, nay. Uh, this is a really shitty deal. I mean, we're actually feeling sorry for the villain here. That villain, as you put it, Bubo, suffered a heinous crime that left her... Tormented and scarred in body as well as mind and soul. So be careful with your words there, Bobo. Yeah, but you killed Wetstein, and for all we know, he had nothing to do with that. Yeah, but, you know, Wetstein was a bit of an asshole anyway. Oh. But, yeah, but still, the, the real criminal's gonna get away here. And this is gonna mess up my tummy. Well, that's a lesson in life, Bobo. Whenever your tummy gets messed up, you just gotta... Take a dump and flush it down the commode. Thus ends another amazing adventure of Night Night. This has been a Nails In production. 
The Night Night theme song is performed by Alistair White and his lovely wife, Heather. Incidental music is courtesy of Kevin McLeod. All characters are performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Join us again, won't you?